This is a bonus divination for the global community for the month of September in the year in 2023. I've already set the intention with the ancestors, letting them know uh, to bring forward any information that might be helpful for the global community. So I'm just going to light a little bit more in Pepu, letting them know that we're ready to begin. And see what message they have for the global community. And so the ancestors are showing me, Makosi, they are showing me you are standing there on the edge of a lake, looking out. It's crystal clear, but somehow you feel that something is missing. There's something missing from the scene in front of you. And so you close your eyes and begin to imagine that this beautiful lake is lined by trees. There's a mountain in the background. The sun is shining overhead and reflecting on this lake. You're using your imagination to change and shift this image before you. And what the ancestors are saying that this represents is a time for growth and change in this month of September. It's an opportunity for you to start planting new seeds of growth with ideas that you want to bring into your life. They are saying that an energy is coming in later in the year. And this energy will help you to infuse these ideas that you have, these things that you want to bring into your life. This energy at the end of the year will also provide you with an opportunity to let go of anything that's not in alignment with those ideas in this growth that you are trying to achieve. But the ancestors are saying that you need to begin now to imagine those things that you want to bring in, just like you did with this image of this lake. Imagining it filling your senses with it as if it is real, right happening right now, infusing it with all of your energies. And so when this energy comes in later in the year, it will help uplift it and nourish and nurture those ideas. The ancestors are saying that many times when we think of opportunities, we are thinking about material things that we can bring into our lives. But the ancestors are saying that the focus here needs to be more on what you can bring into your life, into your inner life, and have that reflect out into the global community. And they're saying an example of this is wanting to build more resilience with inside of yourself. So you can imagine what that would look like. Imagine yourself having resilience. So when you go up against something that is happening in the world or what you hear or see in the world, that you are not overly affected by it. They're saying another example can be to be able to see the world in a different way. So allow yourself to imagine what that would look like for you. If this is an area of growth that you would like to infuse and grow. These are only simple examples of what the ancestors are bringing forward 
for you to have a greater understanding of what they mean. They are saying that, yes, you could plant seeds now to bring you more material growth in the year to come. And they are saying that this is a possibility and these energies can nourish that same growth. But the ancestors are saying that if you feed yourself on these other levels, at a energetic level within inside of yourself, then those material things that you are wanting can also manifest once you shift and change on the inside. Once you bring the things that need to grow on the inside, then other things can be reflected on the outside. And the ancestors want you to sit with this and see what you would really like to grow with inside of yourself that can be reflected out into your global communities. They are saying that this is not a sit one time and imagine what you want to bring, what you want to grow, what you want to develop, but you must sit with it and infuse it with the light, infuse it with your imagination. Imagine it really happening and unfolding. And each time you do this, it will build the energy around that. Just like a seed that is growing in the soil that takes nutrients in the sun for it to grow fully into a plant what you want to manifest, what you want to grow, what you want to shift, what you want to change can all be realized through seeing it in, in your imagination, infusing it with your energy, infusing it with the energy of the divine in these energies that are coming at the end of the year. But the ancestors are saying that you must start now you must start imagining it, feeding what you want to grow into the new year of 2024. And so when we look at the bones, Mokosis, this is the bone of movement forward right here at the, at the end. This is what the ancestors are saying, that it's a good time to move forward. But here's the bone of conflict right here next to it. And this is the bone of your hopes and your dreams and what you desire. And this conflict that is right in between the movement forward and your dreams, this is what you need to release. This conflict between wanting to move forward, wanting your dreams, but there's the obstacles in between. And what the ancestors are saying is that this conflict with inside of you needs to be resolved because you can dream your dreams. You can move forward in the way that you want, but you have to have that belief with inside of yourself that you can truly manifest it and grow it. And you can follow the ancestors instructions of being able to visualize it and see it and really understand that you have the power with inside of yourself. You have the power to create your dreams in this world, in this reality. But by doing them, you must fully be able to stand in your power without this conflict inside of yourself. This conflict that you want to create your dreams, but you're uncertain how. You want to create your dreams, but you think that there's other things that you need to be doing instead. You want to connect with your dreams. You want to manifest them, but you do not see them as something that is a benefit. And what the ancestors are saying that this is all the fear. This is all the uncertainty of the world around you. But when you stand fully in your strength, you can 
move forward on your path. What the ancestors are showing is these are the life path bones here. These are the life path bones. This is the bone of transformation here. This is the bone of your intuition. This is the bone of growth and movement forward. And all of that is available to you at this time. But what the ancestors are saying that you first have to move beyond this conflict that is inside you that st stops you from imagining what you want to bring, what you want to manifest with inside of yourself. Because when we manifest it inside of ourselves, then we can bring that into the greater world around us. But first we must sit with ourselves. We must imagine it. We must fully visualize it. We must fully see it in order to bring it into the world that we are in, in this physical realm. So do not let the fear stop you. Do not let the conflict within you saying that you can't do something for whatever reason. The dreams, our hopes, and desires are all there. And you have the power and the strength to bring them, fully manifest this in the world. And the ancestors are saying that it is just a reminder to understand that this is, is not all about material possessions. These are ways of being, ways of thinking, and ways of understanding the world. And they're saying when you're in more in fully alignment with that, within those pieces that you need to grow with inside of yourself, then the material things on the outer world will come to you. But they are also saying the things that you think you might want material-wise also fall away because you do not see them that you need them anymore. And so the ancestors are saying this month of September is a choice point to be able to grow something that needs to be grown now in order to move forward on your path. It is an opportunity to start visualizing it. It's an opportunity to start really imagining it and so it can be fed by the energies that are coming in at the end of this year. The energies are coming in to nourish and nourish what we are planting now. And if you are not planting the things that you truly desire within yourself, then those energies are going to feed things that you might not want to grow. So that is the choice point where you have the choice to feed the energies that you really want to grow with inside of yourself or feed those energies that need to be let go of, like this fear, the this conflict with inside of yourself. Do you want to continue to feed those things or do you want to feed your hopes, your dreams, and your desires? These are the choices that you have before you. So make the choice, turn within, imagine yourself in a new way. Imagine all of your hopes, your dreams, your desires, and visualize them in a real way so that you can feed those hopes, those dreams, those desires, instead of feeding the conflict and the fears and the doubts with inside of you. I'm just going to light a little bit of Impepu, thanking the ancestors for coming forward today, allowing us to hear their message. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you for your wisdom and your guidance for coming forward today, allowing us to see this opportunity that is before us, this opportunity of a choice point to imagine and grow what we want with inside of ourselves to be reflected in the outside world. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you for coming today.